Hello. Today I am going to show you how to run BISC, on Linux Tails. Arguably one of the most secure and private Linux operating systems. If you don't know what Tails is, please check the links below. To complete this guide you will need a USB drive, and a synced Bitcoin full node running over a Tor. Let's begin. First, I will download the latest release of Linux Tails, its digital signature, and the signing key. I will import the signing key, and verify the signature. Good signature. Now I will flash the Tails image, into a USB drive. I will list all my block storage devices. Now insert the USB drive, and run the same command again. Comparing both outputs, I can see that the file, sdb, represents my USB device. If your USB drive has any partitions, please make sure to unmount them before going on. To make a Linux Tails bootable USB drive, type the following command. And wait for it. Done. Now you can boot Linux Tails from your USB drive, in any computer that you like. I am going to enable the persistent volume. For the purpose of this video, I am only interested in making storage space on the USB drive, persistent across sessions. Unlock the persistent storage. We will also need an administration password for this session. Type 1. Connect to the internet. And let's go download, and verify BISC. Debian package. Digital signature and signing PGP key. Good signature. I will move the package to my persistent directory. Right. We have the necessary infrastructure in place. I've just inserted a USB drive with some useful stuff. Let's take a look. The bash script, install, bisk. will tweak tails so it can run bisk. Its first command installs the specified Debian package. And it ends, printing to screen the following message. The file. Run, bisk contains a single command, which will make bisk, run on tails. It just runs the bisk executable binary file, located at, opt bisk bin. With a few additional options. The option, btc nodes, allows you to specify custom bitcoin nodes to connect to. That's why it's empty, for now. Let's move the bisk package we downloaded, and copy both scripts into a directory called, bisk, on our persistent directory, where we can adapt them to our needs. Let's make both scripts executable. To simplify the usage of the installation script, 
I will rename the BISC Debian package to bisc.deb. I'll do this every time I replace it with a new release. So let's run the installation script. It requires sudo There are no errors, and the last line reads, BISC installed successfully. Now let's test the run BISC script. I am not using the BTC nodes option, so I will comment it out. Run it without sudo. Go to Settings, Network. We can see the peers we are connected to, in the Bitcoin network, and in the BISC network. Let's improve this setup by connecting BISC only to my Bitcoin node, so I do all the validation myself. To accomplish this, I need the onion address of my node, and I need to add a single line to the Bitcoin configuration file. I have a hidden service in my Bitcoin node, listening on port 22. So I will SSH into it from this Tails session. I have the onion address written in a file. Also, I'm using PGP keys I hold in a hardware device to sign the SSH authentication. So let me add a one-liner, so that GPG can talk to SSH. You don't have to do any of this. Just go to your node. I will stop Bitcoin Core and edit the configuration file. I need to allow Bloom filters. The secure way of doing it, is enabling them only for my local machine. Now I will restart Bitcoin Core, wait a minute, and get its onion address. Back to my Tails session. Let's add my node to the run bisque script, and test it. Great! I am connected only to my Bitcoin node. Okay. This is very important. If I were to shut down Tails now, I would lose my BISC data directory, which is located in my home, at, local, share, BISC. So make sure to back it up, by copying it manually to your persistent storage. A more convenient solution, would be to make my scripts, automate that process for me. Let's do that. First, I will make my installation script, restore the BISC data directory, by copying it from my persistent storage to its default path at home. And second, when I exit BISC, the run BISC script will replace the old data directory in my persistent storage, with the current one. If you already have a BISC data directory, now is the time to move it into your persistent BISC subdirectory. If you are new to BISC, or just want to start from scratch, you can use the data directory you've just created. Now that everything is in place, let's test this setup by restarting the computer and booting from Tails again. While this goes on, and in case you didn't catch something, here's a recap. I have a Tails OS bootable USB drive, with my BISC data directory on its persistent storage. I insert it into a computer, boot from it, and start a session with the administration password enabled. I run the install BISC script. BISC gets installed, and my BISC data directory gets copied into the default path. 
I execute the run BISC script. BISC starts running. When I manually quit BISC, the old data directory on the USB drive is replaced by the new one. Now I can safely shut down. There's my Bitcoin node. Let's change something else and test the whole process again. How about, dark mode? So there you have it. You can buy Bitcoin privately and safely, using any computer as a host for Tails. While keeping your data encrypted in your persistent storage. Please, remember to create a backup whenever the state of any of your trades changes. Not only when you start, and end a trade. Also, keep your backup in multiple locations. Stay safe.